blue chip companies are well established firms with excellent reputation these companies usually have been operating for many years and are known for their stability and quality several blue chip stocks are household names such as reliance infosys hindustan unilever etc the term blue chip originated from poker blue chips have the highest value among all the chips and therefore are considered to be the most important ones in the context of stock market this term was used for the first time in 1923 by oliver gingold to describe high price stocks today blue chip stocks are considered to be the most important and reliable part of any long term investment portfolio and hence are passed on from generation to generation now how do we identify blue chip stocks there are three main factors to look in for blue chip stocks firstly these companies are leaders in their industry for example tcs is the leader in it industry reliance is a leader in telecom and petrochemicals secondly these companies have rich cash reserves and very strong balance sheets it means they carry little to no debt lastly these companies have some strategic advantage over their competitors because of which they continue to maintain their leadership position who can invest in blue chip stocks blue chip stocks are expensive but relatively safer investments their biggest appeal is that during market downturns when other stocks fall down 40% or 50% or even higher blue chip stocks maintain their strength and they are the first ones to bounce back up therefore people who are looking for reasonable growth without taking a high risk usually prefer these stocks typical investors of blue chip companies include new investors retirees and long term investors now how do we invest in blue chip stocks well there are two different ways to do that Investors can directly buy the shares of these companies from the stock exchanges but a better approach is to invest via blue chip mutual funds because from a long term perspective these are easier to track and manage okay so far we have discussed the positive aspects of investing in blue chip companies now let's talk about their limitations as well First, these companies offer relatively slower growth as compared to their mid-cap or small-cap counterparts. So, sometimes investors may feel impatient holding these stocks. Secondly, these stocks are usually expensive, so the capital required for investing would be on the higher side. And lastly, just because a company is a blue chip today does not mean it would stay that way always. any change in the consumer preference or industry trends can cause the stock to underperform in future so that was a quick overview of blue chip stocks hope you all learned something new today